estate to real estate. It's Money Matters with Dino. Jim, you're called in at the beginning stages of uh, escrow opening, and your job is to go in and inspect the home. Tell me what, what that entails. Well, first off, I'd like to mention that when people are out shopping for a home inspector, do not go online and pick an inspector for $199, because you're gonna shoot yourself in the foot. And if you go on the internet and you type in your area home inspections, that guy is gonna pop up at the top of the page because he's paying for that. And a lot of people get sucked into that because they only want to pay 199 bucks for a home inspection. As you guys m mentioned earlier, this is the biggest transaction most people make in their life. So why do you want to go get a home inspector that's gonna be $199, $249? Don't pick him by price, pick him by experience. You want to find a good seasoned home inspector. Okay, that's great so advice. When, when I go into a home, uh, number one, I'm working for the client. I'm not working for the agents, per se. You know, I respect the agents, I appreciate the referral, but the number one person uh, on my mind at that time is the home buyer. Um, I wanna get in there and make sure that this is a, a safe home, so health and safety is gonna be a big concern for me. Um, from all the different things that we can look into it with a home. You know, you can have other inspections done, you can do mold inspections, asbestos inspections, radon if you wanna do, but I'm there for the structure. I'm gonna let you know about the conditions of the home dependent upon the age of the home. So I'm gonna be checking the roof, what kind of condition we are on the uh, roof right now, the exterior structure, uh, the windows, the outside, the envelope, the utilities, um, if it's raised foundation, we have the fun job of crawling underneath and checking the foundation. If you get into a home, you have foundation problems, this runs in the tens of thousands of dollars to get repaired. That could you know, definitely break a deal for somebody if they don't have the money to fix these things, or you can't negotiate them at that time. 